Hello, my name's Steve Summers. This is the Scavenger Lab studio. Let's have a look inside. So in here, we have all kinds of strange things that we've taken from dead technology and we've pulled out of bins. And we use these to make strange instruments and we uh, take these to schools and to events and make installations. Recently, we've been doing more workshops so people can try this kind of stuff at home. And we use this as a set. So we have a few videos now. So computers, I've always had issues with computers because they're annoying and so what I tend to do is kill them and take the bits out and make interesting things of them. For example, here's a hard drive and you can quite easily turn it into a bass synthesizer. Nice. So, despite my issues with computers, now I'm trying to take all these instruments and handmade stuff to the next level by taking advantage of a new sort of generation of microcomputers and portable programmable technology that's very cheap and it's hackable. It's much more in line with how I like to use technology. Unlike these, and we can sort of take these little things and we can make them do whatever we want. So that's what we're getting into now. So I'm gonna hand over to my colleague Mick now and he's gonna tell you a bit more. Okay, here you go. Okay, so my name's Mick and I'm working with Steve here at the Scavenger Labs and here's my little studio and I will now swap over to this webcam and give you an introduction to this physical computing course. So at Scavenger Labs when it comes to learning the dark arts of physical computing we believe in a practical approach. In fact it's the hands-on messing around with stuff that often really attracts people to this area. So you might be looking at getting experience of teaching or learning computing in a fun and accessible way. Or you might be looking to bring more interaction to art or hobby projects. Maybe you want to use this kind of technology to make better products and services in the future. In all cases, we can all begin at the same starting place, i.e. learning how to make things tick, or in some cases, how to make them flash. So we begin by jumping right into physical computing software and hardware, and we'll use the popular microbit microcontroller to do this. Uh, by doing this, we'll pick up some of the key concepts involved. Uh, we'll then set the scene and encourage a deeper exploration of physical computing in different settings. And we'll look at case studies to shed light on some of the ways that physical computing unlocks deeper learning through undertaking creative design projects. We'll take a quick but interesting look into the world of multimedia projects by exploring how the multimedia web-based um, Scratch software can be controlled by physical actions paired with a micro bit. And in the last but one topic, we really get into more involved physical computing projects with more hands-on guides to develop your abilities programming a microcontroller with a range of physical inputs and outputs. It's technical but accessible. In the final section, you end by planning a project to develop your own design skills using physical computing. And throughout this course, we'll try and offer tips to enhance physical computing for the use of recycled and scavenged parts.